Design hash map. Given a class MyHashMap, implement the following methods for a hash map without using any built-in hash table libraries. We must be able to put a key value pair into our map, get the value to which the specified key is mapped to. If the map contains no mapping for the specified key, then we return negative one. And we must be able to remove the key and its corresponding value from the map. Now the constraint to this problem are that the keys are between the range zero and 10 to the six inclusive. So realistically, we could just initialize an integer array of length 10 to the six in the constructor. We initialize all the elements in the array to negative one and the keys will resemble the indices. And then in the put method, we could just index in the array using the key and set its value. So so assume for example we want to put the key 1 and value 5. We use the key to index in the array at index 1 and we update the value to 5. And we can do a similar idea in the get method. We use its key to index into the array and return the value. And finally let's move on to the remove method. Let's say we want to remove the key 1 from our map. We just update the value to negative 1. In theory, this approach works, but it is not scalable and wastes a ton of memory. Let's consider a new approach more closely related to how hash tables are actually implemented. We will initially have a list of buckets, and let's say we have a total of a thousand buckets, and consider the index of each bucket. Now in the put method, to determine which bucket the key value pair belongs to, we take the key and mod it by the number of buckets a thousand. For example, let's assume the key was a thousand and one, and value 5. We take the key 1001 and mod it by 1000, in which it equals 1, which means the key value pair belongs to bucket 1. So we append the key value tuple to the bucket. Let's assume another put method is called with the same key but value 6. We know the key value pair belongs to bucket 1. We then need to iterate through the list of tuples in this bucket and find the matching key and then update its value to a new value. Six. Now let's move on to the get method. It's a similar idea to the put method. Let's find out which bucket the key belongs to. In this case, the key 1001 belongs to bucket 1. We then iterate through the bucket and find the matching key. And finally, return the value associated with that key. Now let's assume the key was 1. It still belongs to bucket 1. But when we iterate through the bucket, we cannot find a key 1. If this is the case, then we return negative 1. And finally, let's move on to the remove method. Let's assume we want to remove the key 1001. We know it gets mapped to bucket 1. We then iterate through the bucket, and if that key exists in the bucket, we pop and remove that index from the bucket. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.